A federal aviation administration inspection of the Venice Municipal Airport found dozens of concerns with how the city uses the airport's land. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick sat down with interim assistant city manager Nancy Woodley to find out how the city is dealing with that. She joins us live from the Venice Airport with more. Mia. The city is using this inspection to develop a comprehensive master plan for the airport and its grounds. The problem is the FAA says there are safety concerns that need to be addressed now. The city of Venice is charged with tackling a large, long overdue task. We're cleaning up 62 years of water coulda, shoulda, and we're going to make hopefully good progress. The Federal Aviation Administration inspection of the Venice Municipal Airport found dozens of compliance issues on airport grounds, from extra pipes, dumpsters, and construction debris to leasing airport property. If the city chooses to lease airport land for non-aviation business, they must charge fair market rate and get the lease approved by the FAA. Right now, the Senior Friendship Center doesn't make any payments. And back in March, district airport officials found that Sharkey's lease terms did not meet FAA requirements. I personally don't think that this has risen to a point where anybody has to vacate or move. Uh, I am optimistic that the city is doing the appropriate thing right now. The first thing is to answer the question of what is fair market value. The city is using an aviation experienced property appraiser to determine that value. A checklist of the city's corrective action plan shows expected completion dates for some of the FAA issues. In a recent letter, the federal agency emphasized the importance of solving the safety concerns quickly. Top concerns include standing water on one runway, deficiencies in airfield markings and signs, and a golf driving range located in the safety area of runway four. The city is already correcting some of the issues, but they're counting on the FAA to be patient with others. It's not going to be an overnight ma magic wand and everything is settled, but we are moving in the right direction and we're doing it as, in a reasonable, comprehensive way. The comprehensive master plan for the airport is expected to be completed in early 2010. The f there are several meetings scheduled to talk about this, the first of which is on November 12th, and that's when the city will be asking for public input. Lauren? Mia, uh, some people had raised concerns about some festivals held on the land there, like the Shark's Tooth Festival. What about those? C can those continue? Right now, the city believes that they will continue. In fact, the FAA didn't really have a problem with the city using the land for those festivals. They just needed to clear it through the FAA first, permission, so to speak, to actually have the festival. So in the future, they plan to ask for that concurrence from the FAA before they have any of them. All right, Mia McCorm McCormick reporting from Venice. Thanks, Mia.